It's engine hang day. Yes. But we're a little bit close to this beautiful blast star. I don't want to get anywhere near it. So we are going to actually move the aircraft to the back corner of the hangar. And it's family engine hang day. Thank you, Ani, for your help in advance. Don't divorce me. <laughs> <laughs> 290 pounds Do it by yourself all right that's it i'll film squats lift with your legs <laughs> careful <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so we can fix it to the to the one ton setting. You're so smart. It's not rocket science. <sighs> yeah, but I'm dumb, so. <laughs> okay, cl clearly these are gonna need to come out. It's just three bolts. They're just kind of a pain to put in with these ADL clamps. But one, two, three, because I'm gonna need obviously access to the engine mount bolt right there. Do the honors. Don't mess it up. Ah. Oh, there we go. Nice. We'll we'll just uh, relieve some of the weight, then I'll start taking out the bolts. Actually, let's lift it up. Then it'll center itself, and then we'll drop it back down. Okay, so we'll need to probably jack um, support it with some two by fours because it's, it's wanting to lean a little bit. Yeah, because this just ends right here. So if you just put, I think if you just put a couple two by fours okay. on here and then it can rest on the two by four. Okay. Well, All right, here, here we go. Perfect. Good? Yeah, I think that's good. It's probably good right there. Okay, let's get the bolts out. The bolts on the back side are 5 eighths. As well as for these, you're gonna need an offset wrench. I just buy, uh, buy a set of these because I didn't have them. Because you're gonna have to get in to nooks and crannies back here. As well as, I believe you're gonna have to sacrifice one of them. I think on this from what S21 Project Tony says in his video, is you're gonna have to you have to grind one down to to get that one. So got the grinder and the wings ready to go. Whisper. <laughs> no. Whisper. Whisper. <laughs> Good. Good boy. All right, if she's free, she flies. What you're hearing falling off are the little rubber engine mounts in the aft. I think it'd be easier if you just remove the filter. You think so? Yeah. I mean, I guess we're almost there, but. Well, but again, I think right now, I just want to get it as close as I can to verify that, yeah, the oil filter is going to be too close to where I have the black box, <clears throat> the primary power mm -hmm. system. And no. Once we get it to a 99% position, see um, where a good location would be for 
the PPS. Yeah. So, and I'm thinking, because I want to, my, my number one alternative, plan A, is to just move it over about two or three inches, and I want to see if that's enough. Because right now, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Okay, got the engine pulled back, and vertical power, primary power system, unlocated, if you will. And I think this location is going to work great. Oil filter over here, nothing really monkey in with it right here. Really helped to put that up. Let's see, it's not going to monkey with the alternate air source knob hole. And it's just above these two bolts, which is important because otherwise I would be having to put in bolts behind this. So I didn't want to do that. So it's just going to be above that. So that should be a pretty easy install. Kobe, go lay down, take a nap. All right, I got all the holes located and now I'm gonna remove it. And then uh, these little mandrels are sharp. I'm just gonna kind of sand them down, make sure it's as flush of a surface as I can for behind the PPS. And voila, done. Let's get this bad boy on. Okay, we've decided to take off the oil filter because it just requires too much Duck and dip, dive and dodge. Yeah, removing the oil filter was the money play. Seems obvious now, as most stuff does. All right, so we've sourced the parts, the big old 716 bolts. So the engine is level, the airplane is not. So it's making it challenging to get kind of all four holes lined up. Yeah, you could do the bottom two, but the top two, but I think a better solution is to just raise the tail and make the airplane level. Okay, it's more level to the engine. You just want to bring it down. The engine down? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's way better. Yeah. Okay. I just bought these tools for this purpose. Thank goodness I did. There's no way yeah. without this tool. So let's work on at the bottom. Not that one should be a lot easier to kind of manipulate. Like I'm gonna have to lower it a little bit, all right? Check Ani out. Hell yeah. <laughs> Even sporting the new Clear Direct <laughs> beanie. What's up? Wrenching. Love it. Yeah, it, it mm, it's gonna need to get ground for sure, ground down. Um, but but we got it for 90% of the way. So yeah, you just kinda gotta put it in like that and then it'll get in there. So that really limits the amount of grinding I'll have to do. I think just really on the top edge, just to make sure it sits in there real nice when I put a torque wrench to it. But yeah, I'm, I'm able to reef on this pretty good. I don't wanna strip it with recent. Trauma. Recent mm -hmm. <laughs> trauma. Cool. That's probably, that's good enough for, for now. All right. I'm headed out on a trip for two days and, uh, I will come back, grind this thing and we will torque these, um, down. I'm going to put a few more spins on the bottom. That way I'll feel comfortable with it sitting there for a couple days. We'll remove the engine lift and call this a resounding success. High five. It's Steve. It could direct. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> Imminent. What? Abuse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ow. I'm sorry. All right. Kind of moment of truth here. All right, airplane. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Gear struts. They're holding. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Doesn't look too bad, huh, Kobe? You trust it. <laughs> I don't know if I would go under there right now. Come. Make it look bad. Come. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, no leftover washers or nuts or anything. Till next time. This is Patches O'Houlihan saying, "Take care of your balls, and they'll take care of you."